Chulas and a welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be uh, what I eat in a day. Um, this is obviously not what I eat every single day. Well, I'll tell you guys as I show you guys what I'm going to eat, if it's something that I eat frequently or if it's something new that I'm trying, but I'm going to start off. I just finished. I just got out of the shower. I did my skincare. I did my workout for the day. So I'm going to start off with a smoothie. I probably have smoothies a couple of times a week. I love them. I think they're very filling. They're refreshing. Sometimes I like to do them like uh, with almond milk. Sometimes I like to do them with orange juice. It just depends if I want something a little bit lighter or heavier because I feel like when I do it with almond milk, it's more of like a rich, heavy smoothie versus when I do it with orange juice, it's more light, refreshing just because it's like more, I don't know. Th that's just the way that I process things, but I'm gonna show you guys what I put in my smoothies and how I like to make them Okay, so this is what we're having for our smoothie. So I have fresh strawberries frozen mango Papaya that was about to go bad. So this is perfect for smoothies blueberries bananas spinach um, Orange juice and chia seeds. So chia seeds are really high in fiber um, They're a healthy protein uh, antioxidant so this is amazing and you don't taste it at all you can actually make overnight oats with chia seeds which I will be making later today for tomorrow um, but yeah so this is what's gonna go in it's a lot but it's going to serve three of us which I'm probably gonna add more frozen strawberries because I have frozen strawberries but smoothies are also perfect so that your fruits don't go bad so when you guys have fruit that already looks a little suspicious like this then it's perfect for smoothies um, so yeah this is what we're gonna have and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so this is my smoothie. I always like to smell it first. Okay, let me try. So as you guys saw, it had blueberries, papaya, mango, strawberries. I put all the spinach that you guys saw, I threw it on in there, which was probably like a cup, cup and a half maybe, of spinach, and then the chia so it's really good so cheers i actually just bought some really cute glasses at crate and barrel that i'm really excited to get um that i'm really excited to get so hopefully those will be like my little smoothie benji also wants to show you what he eats in a day <gasps> you want your food yeah you want your food all right so it's time to feed benjini fettuccini i get so many questions on his food what i feed him how i make it so let me know if you guys want to see a video dedicated to this I've changed his food. Well, he's been eating this since we got him, but I changed Mushkini's food when he was alive about a year and a half ago. Um, and it's such a good diet for them. It helps their coat, their energy, their skin. I mean, it's so much better than um, kibble. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on how I make it, how I prep it, and all that. Is that good stuff? You want your food? You want your food? You want your food? <laughs> he loves his food. <laughs> this is what his food looks like so as you guys can see it looks like human food so there's potato sweet potato um celery ground beef um what else is in here there's other stuff in here i can't think of it but his also his like nutrients and vitamins <laughs> so excited to eat come on yeah yeah all right next up is chorizo and eggs one thing about me is that I have a newfound love for chorizo. It's so good, especially this one. So my mom bought me this chorizo from Carniceria Guadalajara. So if you guys live around Inglewood, Lenox area, I think that's where it's at. It's bomb. The best chorizo I've ever had. So I'm just going to throw some eggs in here, warm up some tortillas, and that's going to be my food. So for eggs, I always like to get organic farm-raised eggs. Are these even farm-raised? Yeah, farm, fr well, are they farm-raised? I don't know, but they're organic. Uh, large brown eggs and then for tortilla my mom brings us these tortillas they're from amapola they're also in um what city lakewood no not lakewood um honestly i don't know but if you guys know about amapola amapola is where everybody gets their masa for the tamales um so my mom likes to buy these tortillas and they're so good because son tortillas a mano and they taste so fresh and delicious so i'll just warm up two tortillas we have some eggs with the chorizo, so good. I swear these these um, pans are the best pans ever. Like Dennis and I have gone through pans and these are the best. They're like so non-stick, like nothing sticks to it. They're super easy to clean. I love them. I'm gonna link them down below if you guys wanna get them because last time I got questions on them. 
but honestly, they're the best. All right, here is my next meal. Huevos con chorizo, toma tomato, aguacate, and some tortillas. So excited to eat this. This is honestly the only way that I can eat eggs. Like, eat eggs, has, I have to have a salsa, or I need to have it with chilaquiles, or with chorizo like this. Otherwise, don't give it to me. I don't like it. All right, time to eat. I'm hungry. So I changed my top because I'm getting ready to film and I want to show you guys my little, it's not a snack, it's not like I'm eating it, I'm drinking it. It is my Starbucks um, medium roast. I either get medium or blonde roast uh, iced coffee. I love this, so I'm going to add a little bit of, actually, this probably this whole thing because it's almost empty. And then this creamer, this is the silk almond creamer, uh, sweet and creamy. I need a little bit of fuel because I'm about to film. So this is what I like to drink when I don't feel like having a hot uh, coffee, which is like my Nespresso. I always go towards this iced coffee, medium roast, unsweetened. Bomb. Don't get the sweet ones. I feel like the sweet ones are hell. I mean, unless you like really, really sweet things, but I feel like they're super, super sweet, um, unnecessarily sweet. So this is perfect because then you could just add your favorite creamer and make it as sweet as you like. So I'm just going to pour this. Yeah, not enough. So I need to open my other one. I always like to have two at a time because, you know, like right now, got a new one. So we're gonna pop this open. So I was actually gonna start filming right now while the battery's gonna die. But the gardener just got here, so it's gonna give me some time to drink me drink my coffee um, and just kind of, you know, relax for a little bit before I have to film. And I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna do for dinner, which I think I'm gonna make, um, Spaghetti with um, turkey, ground turkey, because we have ground turkey. This doesn't look very cute, but when I film, it's gonna it's gonna look better. Okay, okay. And I just add like a little splash of creamer. And because this coffee is not super super strong, you don't need a lot of creamer, which I which I really like. But got my little what do I call this liquid fuel. Okay, so I finished filming. My foundation definitely doesn't match my body, but it was the one that I was using today because for a specific reason. But anyway, it's time for dinner. Super late dinner. I think it's like 8 o'clock. So for dinner, I'm going to be making spaghetti because I've kind of been craving it. I actually just chopped up, chopped up, chopped up some tomatoes and some garlic. I am going to be using a canned sauce, but I always like to add fresh tomatoes and garlic because it just tastes to me, it tastes better. And this is the pasta that I'm gonna be using. If you guys have not tried this, you are missing out. It is probably the best pasta that I have ever like used that's not from like a restaurant or like fresh. It's the brand Rails, 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 whatever. Um, homemade, this is linguine. Um, they don't, they didn't have spaghetti, but linguine is just as good. So I have some ground turkey that we bought, which I'm gonna make, but then I also have some ground chicken that I made the other day con salsa del pato, and I'm just going to add that to the ground turkey. So it's gonna be like a blend of ground turkey and some ground chicken leftover. It's a perfect way to not throw any food away. So for sauce, I'm gonna be using this one, Barilla mar marinara sauce. I don't really, I don't think I've tried this before, so I can't give like a review on it, but it's just a regular marinara sauce, tomato marinara, marinara. And then I have this little chili oil, fried chili and oil that I got at the Korean market. And I kind of want to throw it in there and see what it tastes like, give it like a little like quemadito taste. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna experiment tonight. So I'm gonna just start off with adding my tomato, my garlic onto my cazuela with a little bit of oil. And then once this is like, I'll, I'll show you guys. Okay, so I added the tomato. As you guys can see, it's getting like soft. It's releasing its juices, which is what you want. And then once, once the tomato looks more cooked, then I'm gonna add the sauce because obviously the sauce just needs to, I mean, not the sauce the turkey um and then once the turkey is fully cooked then i add the sauce because the sauce just needs to be warmed up but you know we need to we need to add some freshness into this so we're just gonna let this kind of um cook in like medium heat and then i over here i already have my water going for my pasta which has olive oil and um salt mm, it looks very delicious already so this is the chilito that i was telling you guys about and I'm just going to drizzle it in here. Honestly, I've never done this before. I don't know if it's gonna taste good or not, um, but I kind of wanted it to give it a little bit of a kick. So let me, add a little bit more, why not? And then I'm gonna stir it up. 
I will let you guys know once I try it. Okay, you see how it looks? Now it's time to add, woo! Now it's time to add the turkey. Once you add your turkey, then I'm just gonna mash this all up because obviously I want it to separate. Turkey's pretty fast, I, I feel, cooking. Um, so pretty soon, once it looks like, when it's, once it's that color and it's no longer red, then I'm gonna add the sauce. I'm not gonna wait too long though because I want it to kind of like simmer into the sauce so that the turkey gets the flavor of the sauce. I mean, it's gonna have a ton of flavor because I added the tomato and the garlic versus just you adding the turkey into the, into the pot and then just adding the sauce. This is gonna taste so much better. So next time you guys make your spaghetti or your meat sauce, try it like this. Okay, you see this? You see how your, the turkey looks? It's time to add the sauce. I was just telling my sister that I am living on the edge with a white shirt doing this right now. And just mix it all up. Oy, oy, oy. Mix it up. Look, you want to lower your heat now because you don't want your sauce to evaporate. Just kind of want it. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells so delicious. So I'm just going to let it simmer on low heat. And then at this time, we can add our leftover chicken. Tell me this sauce doesn't look bomb. And boom, dinner is ready. Look at how delicious this looks. And it tastes so good. I just tried the sauce and it's so, so good. So I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm starving, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my God. I don't know if it's because I'm starving. Wow, my foundation is like so off. I'm gonna keep eating. Okay, I left the camera in the living room and I just wanna show you guys my last snack <laughs> or meal of the night. This is Frosted Flakes with banana. I love my cereal with banana. Um, I've always eaten it like this. It, oh, oh my God. Oh. Benji. He literally stuck his head in here. Hey, this is mine. Wow, the disrespect. He didn't actually lick it, I don't think. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you guys my last meal. I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day. I'm already in bed, as you guys can tell. Stop it. You little. You little. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!